Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. As you can see, I'm not in my favorite man cave. I'm actually in my dad's man cave. There he is. This is uh, the annex of the Wilson Synchrotron Laboratory at Cornell University. This is where uh, he makes his creations, which are magnets. So this is an assembly of magnets. Now what would you need magnets for? So this assembly is designed to create x-rays from a passing electron beam and then the x-rays are used for imaging for you know other scientific purposes so what this array of magnets does is as the electron beam passes through it basically wiggles the beam and that produces x-ray radiation now the setup here it's kind of a you know a test stand <laughs> Very short uh, prototype of the big device. So, and we are uh, checking uh, and uh, confirming some uh, new ideas mm -hmm. for these uh, devices, generating uh, very extensive uh, X rays. Uh, and uh, just uh, uh -huh. continue. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the controls to move this array. So why, why do we need to move this array? So basically the gap between the two, the upper and the lower arrays needs to be adjusted. And what is that control? The X-ray intensity or? X-ray spectrum, so X-ray energy. Energy. Uh, energy of the photons. Uh -huh. Okay. So basically the goal here is to very precisely control this gap, right, w yes. within a micron. Yes, yes. So the, the specification is within one micron. Here we have the, uh, the actual position meters. You can see that right now it's 4.473 millimeters. So the last digit here is the microns. And here on this one it's 4.128. So you can see the difference between these two gauges right now is about 300 microns, right? So this, this side is lower than this side and we want it to be perfect, perfectly aligned. So this is an optimization problem. But what I wanted to point out here, uh oh, I think we have some, some malfunction in the stepper motor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is just the, uh, the, the prototype, but I think the, the very exciting part is, uh, you know, my dad was talking to me and he wanted to use hydraulic assist to, you know, help maintain this gap between the magnets because what is the force between the two plates? Is it a half a ton? Half a ton, so about a thousand, a thousand pounds? 400 uh, kilograms. Okay, so about a thousand pounds squeezing these two magnet arrays together. And these little stepper motors don't really have enough force to lift, you know, spread this gap on their own. So what, do we, what did we uh, come up with? A hydraulic system. And yes, this is NICOP quarter inch brake lines just like you would use for your Chevy truck. I, I thought that was a really neat thing to use because it's cheap, available, and it can hold up to 2,000 pounds. So the working pressure here is up to 1,500 pounds, so it's well within the specifications. And the actuator is a, uh, a Harbor Freight pump used to I guess for body work. Again, amazing. This whole thing is automated. It works. The piston, you know, instead of using your hand, we have a stepper motor here. It pumps up the, uh, the pressure. Right now it's just the manual gauge, but uh, we want to put a pressure transducer in here to uh, help out with the controls. And then 
basically most of the force is taken up by these hydraulic pistons and then the stepper motors just fine tune the gap and ideally we would have identical reading here and here so right now it's you can see this part is there's no gap here and there's a big gap here so it's kind of like lopsided but uh, again this is a uh, proof of concept so the hydraulics do support you know the force of the magnets and the stepper motors are doing their thing now it's a problem of optimizing the controls making sure it's stable it's not like oscillating but this is uh, so this is what my dad does for a living and uh, I really appreciate him sharing with me and including me kind of in the thought process I, I think it's it's fantastic that we can kind of work together and bring different you know suggestions and ideas together and make this make this thing functional <clears throat> so I guess this technically isn't quite rocket science but it's very close <laughs> so some people say that auto repair is like rocket science so this is <laughs> Yeah, so I guess the, yeah, we'll just keep working on this and if we get it to dial it in, then make, make a follow-up video, but I just thought it'd be cool to share uh, kind of a, something different, not automotive related, but again, it's all, you know, it's all they're common, common ideas. assistant, hydraulic assistance to power steering or brakes or whatever, so it's a, mm -hmm. this great ideas can be applied to other fields. Yeah. This question of mm -hmm. imagination and creativity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so maybe, you know, these things here, like the brake lines and the pump, it's all, it's all hydraulic principles, it's just, you know, applied to a different different uh, purpose. Okay, so with that, uh, say good night and thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed that little trip to Wilson Lab. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.